Hooray, hooray, hooray. Hear the funny man talking about funny books. Yes, it's time for Dr. Curmudgeon Saves Comics, our rebirth review. Hi, I'm Dr. Curmudgeon, a.k.a. Clint McElroy. And we've got two new rebirth books. I think maybe we're in the home stretch. There were none last week, and we got two this week. So we're going to talk about them, plus a special added little bonus nugget of information coming up at the end of the show. But right now, let's start off. The first one we're going to take a look at is the brand new Cyborg book. This is Cyborg Rebirth. Let's take a look. Shall I? Hmm. Okay. Rebirth Cyborg. Uh, written by John Simper Jr. Art by uh, Paul Pelletier. He's, the, uh, he's actually the penciler. And the unenviable task that they have in some of these Rebirth first books of retelling uh, Cyborg's origin. Um, for one thing, it's a really great looking book. Um, the Pelletier, as I said, did the pencils. Uh, Sandra Hope and Tony Cordes did the inking. And it's really a nice homage to George Perez, one of the creators of Cyborg, along with Marv Wolfman. And very classy. They have a little thing on the title page that gives credit to both Marv and George. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. That was pretty nice. Um, the art is beautiful. It's, it's very dynamic um, and, and it has a lot of, of energy to it. Uh, and the writing is good uh, by Semper. Um, it, it's a little on the nosy sometimes. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a little bit obvious um, and a lot of exposition. I know, first issue, you've got to have a lot of exposition, but some of it is a little clunky, but he has set up a very cool mystery and a really cool angle kind of incorporating all the robotic slash androidy slash cyborgy characters in DC and introducing a really cool foe. I think Cyborg's going to be a big winner. I just I just wish Simper would maybe trust his artists a little more. Well, Conrad's going to take over. I hope it's just as good. Maybe just trust him just a little bit more. But a thumbs up on Cyborg. Now, let's take a look at our next one, Supergirl, number one. Steve Orlando and Brian Ching brought us this new Supergirl, and uh, I really like this book. It's extremely well written. Orlando has done a great job of tying into the whole teen angst side of things that, that Kara has but also the alienness. There's a lot of flashbacks to her growing up um, in, uh, in Krypton and, and all the things that go on there. So you've got the alienness, an alien among us, sort of a Mork and Mindy kind of thing. She never does say, nanu, nanu. Uh, but it really helps give a little definition to that character. Plus also, she's, sorry, she's the outsider when it comes to high school too. And that's something a lot of readers can tap into. Ching's art, is is very stylized. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's very clean. Um, my biggest visual problem with this Supergirl book is I wish there weren't so many blondes. Now, I, I don't mean that in a negative way, but sometimes it's tough to tell the characters apart. For instance, she's got two blonde bosses, Cat Grant and the lady at this government agency, and like her foster mother, and she's blonde, and it, 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 visually, little confusing. Maybe if somebody got highlights or or streaks. Uh, this book has the best last page twist of any rebirth book I've seen so far. Now, I'm giving a qualified thumbs up. It's not for me, um, but I think it's going to be for a lot of a lot of readers. It's very well done. Very good to look at and set up really nicely. Okay, I promised a special little extra nugget. I've had quite a few people ask me, okay, we, we know what your reviews are, and we know if you give it thumbs up, thumbs down, this and that and the other, but who are you sticking with? What books are you still getting now that we're kind of far into this whole rebirth thing? And that's a great question. And I've got my list of who I've stuck with. I've stuck with Action and All-Star Batman, Deathstroke, Justice League, Nightwing, Superman, the new Superman, and Titans. Now, understand, that doesn't mean I think these are the only good books. They're just the ones that appeal to me. 
I try really hard to, to look at whether or not a book is, is good and enjoyable and well-made, whether or not I'm going to keep reading it or not. But those are the ones. Those are the ones that I am still sticking with. And, you know, we've only got a few weeks left in this whole rebirth thing. So, uh, you know, I'm not made of money. I can't buy them all. I got a family to support. I got a wicked, wicked gambling habit. Yeah, we probably need to edit that out. But uh, that's who I'm sticking with. Next week, more rebirth reviews. I'm Dr. Mudgeon. Hmm. Watch us go, the Justice League. Yeah, the Justice League. Oh, the Justice League. That's the Justice League.